Goliath, quite possibly the largest T-Rex that's ever existed. Everyone, Mike here with Prehistoric Magazine. Now, welcome back to another video. Now, this Goliath, definitely something worth mentioning. It's why I do this YouTube channel. It's why I do Prehistoric Magazine. Fascinating story. And, you know, over the years, over the last close to 30 years that I've really been paying attention to dinosaurs, there's been so many announcements of large theropods. And, you know, definitely as we move into more and more of the internet era of clickbait, every large theropod that's ever discovered is always touted as bigger than T-Rex. And so far, Tyrannosaurus rex, the tyrant lizard, has held its ground, has withstood them all, and has fended them off, kept them at bay. And T-Rex itself continues to get bigger and bigger, and it's just quite fascinating to sit back and watch it. Now, have you heard about Goliath? This giant femur bone discovered back in 2024, not long ago, in South Dakota. Now, scaling from one bone is never ideal. I mean, think about finding one human bone thousands, maybe even hundred thousands, maybe even a million years from now. Think about finding one human bone and trying to determine how big we were as a species. So it's definitely not ideal. I think it can be done. But obviously, finding more of the skeleton is quite a bit better than just finding one bone. But nonetheless, this femur, if it is believed to be as big as we believe it to be, it's a whopper. And Goliath is a perfect name for this animal. Now, this supposed femur from 2024 in South Dakota is roughly 4.75% longer than other giant rexes and around 13% wider. So... Right off the bat, you know, the skeptics may ask, maybe the dimensions on this femur are just off. Maybe that doesn't necessarily translate to it being a giant. Maybe it just has some big femurs. Now, who knows? You know, only time will tell as more and more time goes by. Maybe they can uncover some more bones next to this animal. Maybe they won't. Or maybe they'll find another skeleton that takes its place. But, you know, I think back to maybe the late 90s when we used to think that T-Rex was at about six or seven tons. And now we're thinking that T-Rex is maybe 11 to 12 tons in weight. And at the end of this video, I'd like to hear your thoughts on could T-Rex potentially reach this fabled 15 ton range that people are lately talking about. But we'll talk about that a little bit at the end of this video. But nonetheless, you know, you go back to the late 90s, you, you thumb through any books, it's going to say T-Rex, roughly six to seven tons. And then we thought eight tons was big. And then we thought 10 tons was big. And now we're at Goliath, maybe 11.4 to 12.5 tons in weights. These are enormous weights. And, you know, I don't want to just throw around these numbers and, you know, not put any scale to it. You know, it's kind of like the government when they throw around the debt trillions of dollars you know we as humans cannot cons we really cannot really envision some of these numbers and we have no scale to them but you know think about an 11 or 12 ton animal a 12 ton rex that means that a full-grown acrocanthosaurus an enormous beast in its own right maybe at six tons 12,000 pounds that would be a half-grown goliath if these numbers in fact turn out to be true again it's just truly staggering that this animal t-rex continues to hold its throne hold its own against all the other newcomers over the last 30 years giganotosaurus carcarodontosaurus mapusaurus lately Meraxes gigas now this new animal Meraxes, is supposedly thought to have reached 8.5 tons as well there's a new skeleton but there's also back and forth. Some people don't accept that. So again, as more information comes in, I think the most important thing to remember about these things is these are fluid scenarios, meaning they're going to change. Um, RIP to Saurophaganax, if that in fact turns out to be true and verified, I'd love to do a video about that Jurassic beast being renamed. But nonetheless, you know, back to this Goliath. 
you know, some of the questions that I think about are why would Rex need to get that big? You know, why would it need to get 11 and 12 tons? And some are even speculating that throughout an entire population of 140 million T Rexes, one of them possibly could have reached this fabled 15 ton range. Now, an example that I've discussed on this YouTube channel over the years, I've written about in my prehistoric magazine. Love to have you subscribe down in the comment section down below, completely free. But something that I read back in the 90s was a very interesting example, and I think it really fits in with this scenario that we're dealing with here. Now, think about tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of years from now, they dig up two skeletons of humans. One is Tom Cruise. And one is Shaquille O'Neal, the basketball player. Now, no offense to Tom Cruise, but he is a not a big guy. He probably can still kick my ass, even though he's in his early 60s. The guy is extremely fit. If you saw his Olympic stunt from the Olympics this past August, where he kind of bungeed down from the stadium and jumped down and landed, the guy's extremely fit. Hats off to him. Props to his fitness level. But he's not a very big individual at about 5'6 or 5'7. Now you scale that up to Shaq, 7'1", 330. And the amazing thing about that is there are humans that are even bigger than Shaq. So again, if you dug up these two skeletons, how big could you accurately say that humans were? So I think you know where I'm going with this, that we just don't have a large enough sample size. Even several dozen T-Rex skeletons that we have, you know, people are already pointing out that in the several dozen known skeletons that we have, we're already pushing the 11 and 12 ton range. So I'm going to put it out there that I think that's somewhere out there. Now, it may not have fossilized, but somewhere out there, there was a T-Rex that maybe could have reached this 15 ton range. I know it's a stretch. I do not think by any stretch that that would have been common. You know, let's face it. Um, there's a lot of luck that goes into surviving as a baby, a baby sauropod, a baby theropod. There's a lot of luck that goes into surviving modern day animals as well as prehistoric animals. You got to be lucky. You know, you got to get some breaks go your way. And then you got to let time go by and get enough kills and meat in you to truly reach that gargantuan size, but I'm going to put it out there that I think throughout an entire massive reign of T-Rexes, maybe 140 million T-Rexes, there may have been one that reached this 15 ton range. You know, just think about the variation in all species. There are giants in every single animal that you can imagine. There are giants. Gigantism, Andre the Giant, the wrestler, you know, there are going to be those outliers. Now, how big do we say that T-Rex was? What was the average size? Hard to say. Eight, nine tons, ten tons. I don't know. It, it keeps getting, the size keeps getting bigger and bigger. So we just don't know. And we have, you know, other animals that are kind of pushing at it. You know, um, Moraxis gigas. That was maybe thought to be four or five tons. And now there are rumors of this new skeleton that is around 8.5 tons in weight. So... We just don't know. Now, that brings me to my next examples, you know, Giganotosaurus and Carcharodontosaurus. Those are two enormous theropods. We don't even really have really any remains of Carcharodontosaurus. I don't believe there's any known standing skeleton of that beast, just jaw fragments. So, again, we need more information. I don't know if we're going to get more information because fossilization is a luck process. And just because it's fossilized doesn't mean we're going to find it as well. So, but something tells me that in those two species, and who knows, maybe even throw in Meraxes, Mapusaurus, maybe even Tyrannotitan, who knows. But in some of these other species like Giganotosaurus and Carcharodontosaurus, there must have been true outliers as well. Now, there is a giga dentary specimen that might have reached 10.6 tons. So that's getting to that range of cope and this new Goliath. Again, Goliath is supposedly 11.4 to 12.5 tons and you know again it's going to be interesting to have the next few years go by and see if these numbers 
get deduced or if they increase or if they just kind of stay the same. I think it's already fascinating that we're at 11 to 12 tons for Tyrannosaurus rex. It truly has and is deserved of its name, the tyrant lizard. So anyways, probably wrap this video up. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. I think somewhere out there, there must have been a T-Rex that reached 15 tons in weight. Just given the sizes that we're already at with this relatively small populations. And keep in mind that we have more T-Rex specimens than we do Giganotosaurus and certainly Carcharodontosaurus. So we can see the size range that they have. Hopefully those other animals, we get more remains as time moves on. Love to find out what their upper size limits are. So anyways, love to hear your thoughts on this. Comment section down below. Do you think somewhere out there there could have been a 15 ton massive T-Rex? Appreciate all the support. See you in the next video. Take care.